Hello, I'm Adrian, and today we're taking a look at the top 10 best armored suits. Number 10. Mandalorian Armor. Mandalorian armor technically doesn't completely envelop its user like a traditional armored suit, but it still acts very much like one. And don't even get me started if we're talking about authentic Beskar armor. That metallic sheen, besides looking awesome, is durable enough metal to withstand a direct blaster shot and can repel lightsaber strikes. Think of it as space adamantium. The design of the armor is instantly recognizable, and it's a perfect blend of a medieval knight and intrepid space bounty hunter. It frankly should be higher on my list, but again, it's already skirting the line as it's not technically a full-fledged armored suit, more like just armor. But what it is, is an incredibly cool looking ensemble that commands your attention. Even if he's standing with that adorable, I mean, just look at that little guy. Number nine. Krina Nano Suit. The nano suits are powerful and extremely versatile sets of tactical combat armor. It absolutely envelops the user and gives the wearer a variety of superpowers, such as muscle augmentation or optic camouflage, predator style. Its design is as if you took your actual muscle structure inside your body, turned it into grayscale, hit that liquify button in Photoshop to everything it's got, and then strapped on your paintball mask for good measure. But for a suit to literally look like what it's supposed to do, i.e. muscle augmentation, is actually a very unique feat among the suits on this list. Number 8. Mjolnir Powered Assault Armor. Also known as the armored suit that Master Chief wears, this technologically advanced combat exoskeleton system was designed to vastly improve the strength, speed, agility, reflexes, and durability of a Spartan super soldier in the field of combat. It was also worn by the stars of that excellent web series that began way back in the day of Red vs. Blue. Its design looks very tough, yet still highly functional, as you can imagine that if something like this were to exist, it would be useful in combat. According to lore, each suit costs as much as a small starship. So in other words, about the price of a first edition Shadowless Charizard. Number 7. Giver Unit The Giver Units, also known as G-Units, Unit Gs, bio-boosted armor, givers, or super cool anime armor, are mysterious bio-organic suits of armor that bond with a host enhancing its own capabilities and granting them an array of weapons. So you can think of it as a symbiote from Spider-Man, but in this case it envelops you in a coat of armor. The name of the suit comes from the ancient creator's language, which means abnormal, non-standard, out of control, or totally radical dude. The Giver armor does have an impossibly cool transformation sequence, and the feature film Giver Dark Hero stars none other than the voice of Solid Snake himself, David Hayter. So that alone gives it so many brownie points. Who am I kidding? It gives it all the brownie points. Number 6. Spider Armor Mark III. The suit first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man 682, in which Peter Parker created it to better fight each one of the supervillain members of the Sinister Six. But I first saw it in the PS4, later PS5 game, Marvel's Spider-Man. It's the reason why the suit frequently appears in his fighting styles video, as it was one of my favorite suits in the game. I really enjoy how it's more on the bulkier side of Spider-Man suits, and it gives him an armored but still lithe look to him. The red and black color scheme is also fantastic, and the glowing eyes give it a menacing look. I still struggle to think that the game sometimes wants you to believe that he can fit that suit underneath his clothes. Unless he was wearing MC Hammer pants, or maybe some Aikido pants, I find that highly unlikely. Number 5. Power Suit According to Nintendo Power issue 162, page 37, Samus's main weapon is, in fact, the Power Suit. It's a sleek and impressive piece of armor that gives her incredible powers of agility, speed, and strength. The suit lets her jump great distances, breathe underwater, function in space, and survive falls from any height. It's also upgradable and has an integrated hand cannon, allowing Samus the ability to switch between various kinds of ammo. It can also transform into a tiny ball, known as a Morph Ball. It's gotten several different looks throughout the years, with one of the coolest looking being the Phazon suit featured in Metroid Prime for the GameCube. And what does Snake think of Samus? Hmm, sounds like my kind of woman. Guess I wasn't too far off in my live action parody of Snakes on a Date with Samus. Available now in a playlist near you! Number 4! Iron Man Mark 7 the Iron Man armor is an armored suit that many others take inspiration from. It's got plenty of variations, even within just the MCU, but the Mark 7 really is something else. It still boasts a bulky armored look, just like the final version of the suit seen in the first Iron Man movie, but it looks a bit more streamlined. The gray plates give him a nice metallic highlight, but the suit still remains very similar to the incredible look achieved by the Mark III. 
All in all, it's a great armored suit, and it forces you to learn some Roman numerals, unless you end up calling his latest suit the Mark Luxvu? Luxvu? Number 3. Ultraman Suit Specifically, the Ultraman suit featured in Netflix's adaptation. It was made as a reinforced model that Shinjiro's father wore, but with added features. It gives the wearer superhuman physique, flight, and the ability to launch the Spatium Beam. Although the armored look of the suit is heavily inspired by Iron Man's, I enjoy its anime take on it and the fact that it's engineered towards someone engaging in martial arts combat with things like the awesome forearm energy blades. The color scheme of metallic red and gray is instantly recognizable and makes him stand out among other armored suits as well. Shinjiro's got some really great techniques and it was a treat to see him learn to fight different enemies. Number 2 Cyborg Ninja To be specific, Gray Fox's exoskeleton. This amazing technology from the Metal Gear series provides life support functions, features optic stealth camouflage, can be equipped with an arm-mounted cannon, and also has a radar dampening field. Others have worn modified versions of this armored suit within the series, but none of them are quite as cool as the original Gray Fox. Although he did prefer hand-to-hand -hand combat, he excelled with weapons as well, wielding a sword with absolute mastery and style. The suit is a perfect blend of looking awesome as well as being highly functional. The integrated helmet is also really well designed with its single eye, giving it a mythical and otherworldly look. Bonus points also go to Gray Fox's incredible sense of poetry, with lines such as him being an undying shadow in a world of light. Must have been a Robert Frost fan back in the day. Or maybe Edgar Allan Poe? Nah, that would probably be this guy right here. Number one. Augmented Reaction Suit. This sleek white battle suit, seen in the video game Vanquish, was funded by DARPA out of the ambition to create an infantry unit that exceeds the mobility, firepower, and situational awareness of existing main battle tanks. The suit is equipped with amazing powers, such as its AR mode, enabling the user to move so fast the world around them slows down, or one of video game's most over-the-top acronyms, the BLADE system, which stands for Battlefield Logic Adaptable Electronic Weapon System, somehow. It gives Sam Gideon the ability to transform his weapon into different configurations. The suit also enhances the user's physical strength and speed, allowing Sam to perform all sorts of cool melee moves. Because of its unique and engaging design, awesome transforming abilities, and the fact that it's great for both short and long distance combat, the augmented reaction suit takes a top spot. I'd like to thank each one of my Patreon members as their contribution helped in the making of this video. If you'd like to contribute and appear in the credits in the future, my Patreon page is Godzilla Rex and it's in the description below. Which is your favorite armored suit? What top 10 would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments below, make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos, and see you next time.